And early voting is over. Now counties are prepared to open precincts tomorrow for primary election day. And candidates are trying to sway your vote if you're still undecided. 2 News reporter Riley Phillips joins us live now in the studio after speaking with the two Democratic candidates running for governor. What are they saying, Riley? Well, Brooke and John Nan Whaley and John Cranley are both vying to be the Democratic nominee for governor of Ohio, and they both have similar backgrounds, serving as mayors of major cities here in southwest Ohio. I'm running for governor because Ohio needs a comeback. Two former mayors going up against each other in the Democratic primary for Ohio governor. John Cranley spent the last eight years as mayor of Cincinnati. He says his record speaks for itself, touting the growth of the city under his leadership. I work with the business community to revitalize the riverfront and over the Rhine, and our city is booming as a result. Former Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley is also highlighting her eight years of city leadership, helping the community navigate devastating tornadoes and a mass shooting. She's also hoping to make history with her nomination. We've never had a Democratic nominee um, that's been a woman. We haven't had a nominee from any party that's been a woman. And I think we need to have a different kind of leadership if we're really going to get the work done that needs to be done for the state. As primary election season comes to a close, both candidates are hoping to stay in the race for the chance to make major changes to the state of Ohio. The, the things, things I love about Dayton are the same things I love about the state. It's a gritty, resilient state where the people work hard, play by the rules, and they expect to get ahead. And both candidates chose women as their running mates. Whaley is on the ticket with Cheryl Stevens, who also has ties to the Dayton area. And Cranley chose Teresa Fetter, a state legislator from the Toledo area. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 5 on 2.